12 gauge, one ounce rifled slug. What are some of the things that you can do with a 12 gauge slug? How about relocate 50 pounds of water? Break a concrete block? Or you could drill a hole through a four inch fence post. Yeah, you can do all those things and probably a long list of other stuff. That was a six gallon container, a concrete construction block or foundation block, and this is a four by four fence post, treated wood, clean entry there, and I know you're asking the question, did it go all the way through? Yes, it did, no problem whatsoever, and that was from about 25 feet there, 35, 40 feet on the block, and I think uh, 30 feet or so on the container. Using the Mossberg 590A1 special purpose, this is a smooth bore and a 20 inch barrel. So I'm using rifled slugs. This is also known as a Foster slug. 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch shell, 1600 feet per second, one ounce. That one ounce converts to 437.5 grains. So when you calculate uh, foot pounds energy, it is approximately 2,484 foot pounds. That is a lot of force. For size comparison, on the left you have a 45 ACP, 230 grain jacketed hollow point. I think that's a Winchester PDX-1. And then the slug on the right, you can clearly see the rifling. And when you turn it over and look underneath, it is hollowed out. So it's not a solid all the way through. For the main attraction, we have a block of the SimTest Media. This has been calibrated to match 10% ordnance gelatin specifications. It weighs approximately 50 pounds, 20 inches in length. But I still think this is an excellent pass-through opportunity today. We have some water jug back up and then a large plastic container that is stuffed with dry newspaper and a surprise. In the very back, we have a 40-pound bag of dry cement just waiting as that last resort. We're going to try this from 20 feet, and if there was ever a day that the block could fly off the table, is today. So I have taken precautions. That was awesome. Excellent shot placement. It did break the board. Check out this cavity. That is just some serious nastiness. Wow. There's the thumb. Wow, that is just, that's just nasty. Great news, or not, depending on how you wanted this to penetrate, is that it is inside of the block. It did not exit. I did lose a water jug due to splinters coming out of that board. So it has some leakage on that, but otherwise, a pretty clean test. Let's break it down. Here's how it gets started, and this was not really what I expected. Here is the entry point. This is the left half of the block, by the way, as I was cutting. Start to see this permanent stretch cavity really open up about an inch and a half in. From this point to this point where it narrows, and I'll show you that in a moment, that is seven inches. The widest from here to here is four inches, and it is approximately an inch and a half, uh, yes, it was an inch and a half deep on this side. That is just unbelievable. Now, it continues on. I did peel that back away a little bit, but a segment, and I mean a segment, not all of it, but a segment of the slug was embedded in the bottom right there. It was stopped by the board, and that leading edge is at 12 inches. So it split off at some point. I'm not sure exactly where. Here is the other side of the block. I obviously captured most of the permanent cavity on that other half, but this is about an inch and a half, two inches wide. This is one and three quarters of an inch deep. This carries on. We get into some paper wadding here and some more paper wadding there. Whoops, there's the other half of the slug and the leading edge of that is at 10 inches. So we'll never know where it's split off. I'd say probably in this uh, 8 to 10 inch mark, obviously. Let me back up, and there is uh, an overhead of both halves of the tracks. Here is another perspective, and there are the two halves, or are they? They don't go together, and the weight's coming in at 0.737 ounces, so something is missing. Looking at this perspective, 
can see how this opens up and check it out. I dug this out. And actually, I haven't taken it out. It's still embedded, but on the left side of the block in the track, there is another chunk of the slug. So it didn't split into two. It split into three. So now with the sections I've recovered, we're still coming in a little bit less at 0.983 ounces. I believe that's the puzzle, and it's odd that two of the three pieces really flattened out. Diameter at that mark is 1.225 inches. If you look there on the lower right hand corner of the box, that's actually the top of the box, it's just the way it's positioned right now. You see the primary purpose for these, and a lot of you already know that, it is for hunting medium game, maybe even some large game, and I know a lot of folks do that. Uh, I'll use these for target practice. I do not use them for home defense. It's not my first choice in spite of the fact that we, you know, this is going to be a fight stopper, you would think or hope, uh, but that's not my first choice. I have some other things that I use in my 12 gauge, so I hope that from all these perspectives, whether or not it's home defense or hunting or target practice, you got a little bit out of this, maybe something educational and possibly a little bit of fun. We're going to close out with some slow motion. Thanks for watching.